Hey, are you thinking about starting your own hotshot trucking business? Well, in this video, we're going to walk you through the startup costs for hotshot trucking business, the common expenses that you can expect to have, how much revenue you can make, and then ultimately how much profit you can make owning your own uh, hotshot trucking business. Um, my name is Adam Hooksma. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub, and we've helped thousands of entrepreneurs create financial projections for uh, potential lenders or investors as they're trying to raise capital to to start their own business. And um, what we're going to do today is walk through our trucking financial projection template uh, and enter in assumptions uh, that will allow you to create a set of projections for your own hotshot trucking business. So let me show you how this works and we'll get started. So the first thing to note here is in this spreadsheet is that every cell that's highlighted in blue is an assumption that you can change. So um, I've got this kind of pre-filled out uh, for a hotshot trucking business um, starting here in January of 2022. Here you can put in a dollar amount um, of personal investment. So this is probably if you're trying to get a loan um, for maybe your truck or your trailer, you're probably going to have to put in some uh, of your own money. The lender is going to probably expect that. And so that's what we've put in here that we've assumed you're putting in $15,000 to, to get the business started. Um, here, you can probably just leave these accounts receivable and payable terms um, alone. Uh, this accounts receivable would be um, would mean that 50% of your, your customers are paying you um, up front and then 50% would be paying you in 30 days. And, and so depending on your customer mix, that could change. Um, and you'll be able to come back and change that if you'd like. Um, you can leave inventory blank because you're not going to have any inventory of your own. Um, now let's get into entering in the startup costs. So we did a bit of research and uh, based on our uh, three different sources, uh, we found that the total startup cost for a hotshot trucking business is between $76,000 and $106,000. And um, that's really broken into a few different categories. So it's your, your fees, um, licenses, deposits, uh, insurance, um, that sort of thing, which we estimated about $6,000. Then a truck, uh, and a common truck uh, that's used in hotshot trucking businesses is a Ram uh, 3500. And that can go from 40 to 70,000 right now, but obviously we know uh, prices are changing and so you'll you'll want to um, look that up specifically uh, when you're trying to start this. And then a trailer, um, we're estimating around $15,000 for a trailer. And then also you'll want to have some working capital for um, to cover fuel, uh, insurance the first few months, uh, any repairs, that sort of thing. And so we're kind of estimating $15,000 for that. Now, to enter in um, your your trailer here, um, you put a trailer and we put the dollar amount at 15,000 with a life expectancy of 10 years. Now we have a slot that you could add a building if you have a building for your business, um, maybe to store the truck and trailer. Um, if you have a building, you could put that in here. In this case, we just left that blank. Now moving down to the trucks and see you can see that there are slots to put in a bunch of different trucks. Um, so if you grow over time, you can add more trucks. But initially, we're just assuming one truck. So you can see I put in one right here. And we're saying that this truck was purchased instead of leased. And the purchase price was 50,000. And the salvage cost of 20,000. We're saying that that purchase uh, started or happen in month one of the projection. And then this says amount financed uh, per truck, and we have that set at 45,000. And so that, that means we're assuming that you get a $45,000 loan at 8% for 72 months. When you put those assumptions in, the template's gonna figure out what your loan payment is and, and get that all integrated into, into your projections. And, and that's really it on entering in your startup cost. Now we can jump over to our projected revenue. Now, um, the template is, is smart, so it knows that um, you only have one truck because we only entered in one truck. So right up here, it's saying number of trucks uh, is one. 
and that's that's what we have right now. Uh, based on some research that we did, um, the goal would be to earn uh, $2 per mile and to be able to drive 250 miles per day. Um, so that's, that's kind of an ideal goal. And I know um, this changes and could be different based on your location. Um, and so you'll want to put in your own, um, your own numbers here based on uh, your particular area and your plan. But what we have here, you can put in um, the maximum number of miles per day that you would you'd be able to drive. Um, and so we have that set at 500 uh, miles as a maximum, and we're saying we're willing to work seven days a week. So we put those assumptions in. And then when you come down here to this hot shot section, um, it's going to say percent of, of available miles of that 500 used for, um, and this should say for hot shot, and we're saying 50%. So 50% of 500, that's where we get to that 250 miles, actual miles per day driven. We're assuming 250 is a good goal. Uh, and then down here, the average revenue per mile of $2. So if you, in your area, if you realize, you know, rates are $1.75, um, you know, you can change that to $1.75 in the template. We're going to leave it at $2 for our example here. And then you have the ability to enter in driver pay per mile. Now, the way I'm filling out this template, I'm assuming you're kind of a, an owner operator and you're doing the driving. So we're going to say zero here for um, driver pay. Now, a good assumption uh, for your cost of goods sold. So these are your variable costs. Um, like fuel, tires, repairs, uh, maintenance, tolls, uh, even broker fees. If you're brokering a, uh, on a load board to get to get your um, get your work, um, this should be around 40% of whatever you um, earn. So if you earn two dollars, then 40% of that is 80 cents. Um, and and so we put in a per mile cost for a lot of these expenses. And you can see that when it is all added up down here for a total, um, we get to 80 cents. And we have the ability to say that that's probably gonna increase over time. So we put a 2% annual growth rate in those, in those variable expenses. And ultimately that's gonna calculate your, um, your, your revenue here. Now jumping over to our expense table. So this is your just general operating expenses. Um, and your biggest one here is gonna be insurance. Um, there's different types of insurance, depends on what kind of um, truck you get and trailer and what kind of loads you're doing. But um, based on our research, you can expect around $1,000 a month in insurance as a, as a good um, standard to plan with. And so we've entered in, um, and that's a lot of that insurance is on a per truck um, uh, uh, cost. So one thing that's nice about this template is if you add trucks, it will add you know four hundred dollars of collision insurance per truck to your projections. Um, so you don't have to add increase um, the insurance on this page. You're just Every time you add a truck, it's going to automatically add that to your projection. So that's that's really useful. There's also um, license plates, permits that are maybe some startup costs uh, initially, other startup costs, maybe some legal costs. Uh, if you want um, any legal work just to set the uh, set up an LLC, if you're doing that, um, that sort of thing. But there's really not a whole lot of ongoing variable costs, which is what makes uh, hotshot trucking uh, business is really attractive right now. And so uh, we can move on over here to our uh, salaries tab. Now, I don't have any salaried positions entered into this template right now, but you can see you have the ability to add um, salaries. So you could, you know, if you 
started growing, you had a, added a dispatcher. Maybe you had a couple different drivers. You want a dispatcher to help, you know, uh, get loads and, and dispatch and that sort of thing. So even if it was a part-time job, you could, let's say it was a part-time dispatcher, maybe a salary of 20000 you could enter that in. Um, and you can enter the month that that dispatcher starts. So if in your projections, you wanted to say, well, I don't think we're going to do that in the first year, but maybe in month 13, so in, in, in that uh, second year, maybe we'll add a dispatcher part-time. Um, right here it says the number of this particular employee. We only want one dispatcher, but if you had, if you were going to add uh, maybe, let's say you had lots of trucks and you wanted to hire um, a repair technician or maybe multiple repair technicians, you could enter in uh, two or three of those um, in one line here. All right, and that's really it. We've, we're done with the input. And then you can come to this at a glance tab and you'll see our projected revenue of, uh, based on the numbers that we put in, 184000 for the year with cost of goods sold right there at that 40%. And then a profit um, of 66000 is your net income in your EBITDA, which is a fancy, uh, a fancy word to say earnings before before you pay your interest, before you pay your tax, before you pay depreciation on your truck and your trailer and that sort of thing. Um, so ultimately here you can see, uh, based on those numbers, what your net income is gonna look like um, and, and what hopefully you'd be able to take home um, out of that uh, amount. And of course, depending on what kind of loan you get, that's gonna, net income is different than cash flow. And so um, as you as you take a look at this cash flow summary, this is this next tab, it'll show you um, how much cash you expect to be able to generate um, in the year. And, and really your cash is what you should be able to pay yourself. Um, so after all of your expenses for your loans and that sort of thing, um, you'll be able to see how much cash you can actually pay. So, and lastly, you can see your income statement and your balance sheet. And these are just reports that your, uh, that your lender might want to see. Uh, and so you'll be able to provide that to them. You've got an income statement by month, cash flow statement by month, and balance sheet by month. So that's it. That's uh, our Hotshot Trucking Financial Projection uh, template. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave questions in the comments uh, of this video down below. And also look in the um, description of the video for a link to this template. And you'll be able to, to purchase and download that and, and use that for your, for your own uh, startup business. So, all right. Thank you. Let us know if you have any questions.